Hi again for USCFSales.com. This is Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. In our last video in this series, we looked at medals. It's an annotation form, actually a visual cue where you can see the medals right in a game list. It's an annotation form that an annotator can use to call your attention to something special or significant about a game. We showed you how they use them, how they put medals into a game, and how they look in a game list. What we alluded to, but didn't show you in the last video, was that medals are searchable. You can look for games in a database based on the medals that annotators have placed in games. We'll show you how to do that right now. Right click on the database that you wish to search. Select search. We've done this a bunch of times. You should know this by heart by now. You have a bunch of tabs at the top of the search mask. One of them says medals. Select it. And now you have all the different kinds of medals. Let's say you want to find games that contain novelties, where an annotator has chosen to use this visual cue to show you if there's a novelty in a game. You can click on that button and you'll see that this uh, box at the top turns blue when you put a check in the box. That means that uh, any metal that's this color blue indicates there's a novelty in that game. You click OK, and after a couple seconds, note, that we now have a list of games, and it happens pretty quick too. Uh, we have a list of games in which an annotator has chosen to show us a novelty. And we can click on different uh, different games, or if you double click, and it'll show you down here where there are medals in the game. This annotator shows to put them at the end of the game. However, we showed you in the last video that frequently annotators, as this one did, will put a medal right at the point in the game in which that special event happens. So. Here's our list. I'll show you one more trick with medals, by the way. Let's close this and we'll go back and right click, select search, and go back to the medals tab. You can select more than one medal. However, if you're familiar with Boolean algebra, algebraic Boolean terms, this will be an AND search, not an OR search. What I mean by that is this. If you select two medals, as I've done here, best game and novelty, and click OK, notice that every game that comes up contains both of those medals. It's an AND search. All the games that are going to turn up when you do this search are going to be ones that have the medal for best game and the medal for novelty. Not an OR search where it will be either best game or novelty. It's got to be both or nothing. So both those medals have to be present. So what you can do, and you'll notice that some of these annotators do use medals quite uh, extensively. This fellow right here has a whole bunch of uh, medals in this particular game. Got a whole flag of them. Other annotators, such as this one, only use two medals. One for novelty and one for best game. Best game appearing at the beginning of the game. And of course here's the novelty and somebody put the medal right here to show you that uh, that's exactly where it occurs. Also there's the N for novelty. That's all there is to it. It's very simple. Just right click, select search, and select the medals you want to look for. As always, if you click reset, that clears the whole thing and you can make a different choice and do a different search. And notice now all these games have the red medal for sacrifices. And again, we can double click on one and just go right to that game. That's all there is to it. It's very simple. Next time around, we'll look at a little more complex search that you can do in Chess Base 11. Until then, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.